Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Velas. He's eagerly awaiting watching his knockout. Um, just first off, atmosphere amazing. Nailing a shot that I know you've drilled in training, so I've just heard you speaking about it with Mark and the team. Mate, you must feel so good right now. Yeah, mate, it was a very good shot, I think, and uh, I ain't seen it yet, but I went jab, I think, with it, and then uppercut. But uh, yeah, mate, it's, it's what everyone's been seeing in the gym, you know, for ages. Mark said it, everyone's been saying it, but talk cheap, you know, I've got to do it in the ring, under the lights, on TV, that's where it counts. But, you know, that guy's never been stopped before, and I put him out stone cold. Like, it, was bad, it was a bad knockout, I think, and... Uh, had the breathing apparatus in there a lot, but hopefully he's he's well, he's got good health and he's safe and sound and he lives to fight another day, you know, hopefully he's going to fight again. But I've said it once, I'll say it again, I'm the future of the cruiserweight division and I'm, I'm only 20 years old, but I know I've got a lot to learn and I've got to stay humble, but, you know, I believe it and, like I said, I'm going to put Norfolk on the map, but I'm the future of the cruiserweight division. Well, guess what? You can wait no longer. <laughs> Oh, he's out bad, man. He's stone cold. He is stone cold. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully he's got good health, you know, that's bad. That's bad. What a way to open the show. That's what I mean, man. I'm man, I was going to say, that was the first fight on the live broadcast as well. Um, and promoters love knockout, so I can imagine Frank's probably looking at that and going, yeah, I've got one here. Yeah, where's that knockout bonus, Frank? You know what I mean? Where's that knockout bonus? <laughs> the last thing you need is a knockout bonus, you'll make him skin. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. I'll be out of pocket soon. <laughs> um, so, yeah, obviously, you said you're going to keep your feet on the ground, but uh, I suppose, is it going to be hard in the sense that everyone around you is going to tell you to keep your feet on the ground, but things like that, that's where you're going to get fans and you're going to get sort of people in the boxing community, not necessarily the people close to you going, Oh, bloody hell, he's the future, he's the future. Is that where it's going to be hard to keep your feet on the ground? Because that's going to cause a lot of hype that tonight. 100%. Let people believe the hype and uh, jump on board, you know. But I know, like, even tonight, yeah, even though I put him out bad, I've got things to work on. I can jab better, I can move better. I can, uh, I've can. i still got to stay humble and learn my craft. You know, I'm only 20 years old, I've got a lot to learn. But under with Jimmy, Mark, Sonny Cannon, you know, I'm going to practice my craft. And as I step up in opposition and rounds, you know, I'll get the rounds in and that's where I'll learn. But yeah, nah, I'm, I'm ready, mate. I'll smash it. I want to be out boxing again soon and I'll be ready for anyone. The term I keep hearing from everyone is that it's freakish power and that kind of makes it sound like it is just natural power. Obviously, look, you've got to combine the timing and the accuracy. Um, but it's kind of that freakish natural power that, that you've just got. Is that literally what it is? Something you kind of can't train? Yeah, definitely. I feel like this sort of power you can't teach. And um, Mark says I've got a power like Wilder, but... You know, whoever it is, I'm sure they're going to go over no matter who they are. But if I hit anyone clean, I believe they'll, I'll knock them out. But as I step, on, step up in opposition, like I said, I'm sure we'll, I'll get sturdy opponents and get rounds out. But next year, I want to step up six rounds, you know, maybe finish the year on an eight-rounder. And, um, yeah, it'll be good, mate. It's a good journey. I believe I'm the future of the cruiserweight division and I can be a star in this sport. But I've got to stay training, you know, and keep at it. That's it. Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.